Hi friends, I am back with another interesting case today. This is a grade 1 to 2 nucleosclerosis cataract being operated for a 54 year old female patient. The rex is hydrodissection and nuclear fragmentation using a stop and chop technique which is my preferred technique for soft cataracts seems to be going on well uh, the pieces have been divided and emulsified without any problem and everything seems to be fine at this stage until I withdraw my phaco probe and I notice a slight change in the shape of my rexes uh, which seems to have become a little oval and as I inject some fluid in the anterior chamber oh my god I see there is a zonular dialysis of three clock hours staring at me and yeah I have to manage it now so the first thing I do is I inject OVD in the bag and form the bag well and fortunately there is no vitreous so I can go ahead with placement of CTR uh, these cases of up to three to four clock hours of intraoperative zonular dialysis can be managed safely using a capsular tension ring as I'm doing in this case now since the area of dialysis is between 12 to 3 o'clock position I'm introducing the CTR from my side port which is opposite to the area of dialysis so that the leading part of the CTR goes towards the area of maximum zonular dialysis or detachment uh, once I have implanted the leading part of the CTR into the bag I'm checking uh, the position of the CTR using a Sinsky hook and once I have confirmed the position I am more confident in going ahead and dialing the CTR further and once it comes close to the side port I use a Sinsky hook to engage into the trailing eyelet to gently release the CTR into the bag however the CTR slips suddenly and goes above the capsulotomy as it can be seen that the capsulotomy is peaking so then I go from my main port and using a Sinsky hook, I gently retract the CTR towards the center and very carefully release it into the bag. And this time I seem to be successful as the capsulotomy has become absolutely round now and the bag looks much more stable. So I can go ahead with my irrigation and aspiration to remove the OVD from the bag and I also try to do some hydro polishing of the posterior capsule and then use a bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula to aspirate some sticky and thin peripheral cortical fibers which have been entrapped under the CTR and are a bit difficult to aspirate so without fiddling too much with it I go ahead with the implantation of a single piece hydrophobic intraocular lens into the capsular bag. The trailing haptic however does not go in the bag so I don't try to dial the lens but I use my Sinsky hook to fold the haptic and then gently release it inside the capsular bag. So now I can see that the lens is quite well centered and I also go under the lens to wash the viscoelastic. The remaining OVD in front of the lens is also aspirated. And with this the case ends. On first day post-operative checkup, patient had an uncorrected vision of 655 and clinical photography showed the lens to be very well centered and stable in the bag. The patient later revealed a history of trauma to the eye as a result of a domestic assault a few years ago and probably this was the cause of the zonular weakness uh, which led to intraoperative zonular dialysis however the outcome of the surgery was good and the patient was very happy thank you for your kind attention